get started in a moment here. Release, good. All right, folks, we have Fardaz Amak and Jalen Celestine here with us. Uh, we'll open it up to questions for them. Jalen, it's been a while since you got to play the game. Can you talk about what you thought of the game and the atmosphere and everything that went with it tonight? I don't know. I'm just grateful to be able to play again. I mean, set out for more than a year, so going into the game, I was really nervous, but my teammates, Dawes, everyone just really kept me in it, got my mind right, so we were able to get a win. What did you think of the, it wasn't a big, big crowd, but they made some noise. I bought it, it got loud, so it wasn't a big enough crowd, but that'll come. We win some more games, it'll come, but um, the fans that did come, we appreciate them, and they're loud, so it felt like a big game, for sure. How do you think you guys played? Um, I think we played hard. We made some mistakes like every team does, but I'm happy we won. I'm proud of our team. First win of the season, first win for coach. Can't let me follow up. You said, you know, this is obviously pretty satisfying for you for missing, for missing a whole season. Were there times when you were out that you thought this night, this night might not come, that you might not ever get back? A bunch of times. <laughs> a bunch of times. Being hurt like that. Um, ups and downs of it. Like you have some hard times, you have some down times, but like I said, my teammates, my family, people back home in Toronto, like everyone really helped me keep afloat during that hard time. So just thanks for everyone I have in my circle. Right, was the first time uh, playing with Cal, pulled in a bunch of rebounds, had a solid shooting night. How would you feel about your game and about the victory? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we had a game plan, you know. Um, when you play a team like that, I think sometimes it's hard to, um, you know, you look at the level of competition and that's a, you know, really well coached team, a team that has, you know, a lot of winning um, experience, you know, culture from their, you know, previous uh, division that they played at. And obviously last year going to division one, you know, having a great first year. So we just emphasize like trying to attack the stuff that, you know, they're not very good at, which was, um, you know, Credit to obviously coach and staff that you know did a great job scouting. Um, you know my first first real game, you know in a, in a long time, kind of like JC playing healthy. Um, you know it's it just feels really good to be out there, uh, just get, get my getting getting my feet wet again and like you know getting an opportunity to you know showcase you know what I can do, but also you know helping our team and, and having an opportunity to you know make some run this, make a run this year. For both of you guys, what did coach tell you before the game and what did he tell you after? You know, uh, I'll take yeah, this one, but uh, before the game, you know, he just told us, uh, obviously, you know, the there's a reason why, you know, we were all here, um, you know, JC uh, with the injury that he had and um, having a second chance, you know, Dev, you know, um, been a couple spots like myself, you know, with the injury, you know, Jalen, same thing. And that's kind of the trend for a lot of our guys. And just like seeing that, um, you know, in our locker room, like we have a ton of guys that, are super talented and having this, you know, core together just shows kind of like the culture that we're trying to build here. Um, and, you know, that just shows that like he just told us, man, like at the end of the day, we execute our game plan, we're going to win this game, you know. Um, and after the game, you know, he was super excited and we were excited for him, you know, first first uh, win with uh, obviously with Cal and, you know, his first win in the Haas Pavilion, you know, super exciting. And we're just trying to make this a trend, you know, make this a normal thing now. For sure. Jalen, what's the? Uh, oh my God, what's up? What's the homework tonight? Um, what's, the, what's the feeling when you um, hit those back-to-back -back threes from Devin's assists? Um, it was just exciting, man. Um, I don't know. In the moment, you don't really think about it. You're just trying to get back on defense or anything. But yeah, being in the moment, it's just exciting. That's all I can really say. That was like a really cool moment after the game with everyone. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It for sure was, man. It for sure was. Jalen, uh, you've got another game Friday. What do you guys need to do better in the next game than you did tonight? Uh, defend the basketball. I think we, in the first half, I think they're 8 for 14 from the three-point line. So just little things like that. But keep playing hard, keep having confidence in one another, keep having fun, and the rest will take care of itself. For the both of you guys, the game was really neck and neck towards the end. Can you guys take us through what coach was telling you guys in mm -hmm. those last couple of those? Yeah, you know, um, at the end of the day, like, you know, they want to win just as bad as we do, you know. Um, we actually had to talk about this a couple of days ago. A every team in the country right now, you know, has their goal. And I promise you, if you walk into every locker room, you're going to see, you know, make the tournament, make a run the tournament. 
And uh, for us, it's just trying to figure out, you know, a brand new team, it's really hard to gel together within, you know, five to six months. Um, but with us, you know, we've tried to um, do everything that we need to do, which is, you know, listening to the coach, you know, following the game plan, playing as hard as we can. And we have so much talent on this team that on any given night, you know, we're going to figure out how to get it done. So, I mean, we just executed what we were supposed to do, and we did that. How do you think you guys played tonight? How well did you think you played? Um, I mean, I, I think, you know, we, we played good, at, you know, as a team. I think, you know, at the end of the day, like when you really see our roster, you know, obviously uh, with some guys, you know, not playing, um, that just shows you how talented we really are, you know. Like, you know, we, we have a ton of guys that can, you know, step up. You know, JC had a great game tonight. You know, I'm super happy for him. Um, you know, obviously Jalen Cohn, you know, he, he got it going in, in the end. Uh, mm -hmm hit some big shots for us. And he's, you know, he's a guy that can light you up for 40 any night, you know? And tonight, you know, obviously early on wasn't his night, but um, we, you know, we stopped in the huddle. We told him and we said, every time you catch it, let it fly. We've seen you, you know, your body of work, your career 40 something, you know, from three. So I think just seeing like how much potential this team really has, you know, we have size, we have athleticism, we can shoot it. So I think that just um, just shows a little bit of a glimpse, of, you know, what, what this team is. Up until recently, you were practicing with two key pieces of the team with, with uh, Tyson and with, with Kennedy. Um, so obviously you have to reorient things a little bit, starting with a different line. Does that have to do with, you know, maybe the, the lack of efficiency, defending the perimeter and some of the defensive issues you were talking about? Um, yeah, I think, you know, at the end of the day, it's – those guys are going to step up, you know, and um, I think a lot of it was just mental mistakes. You know, we're going to go back, break film. You know, we have three, four days to prepare for our next game. Um, you know, I, I'm fully bought in that our guys are going to be ready to go Friday. What's your guys' biggest takeaway from today's win? <laughs> oh, you said a positive takeaway? Um, that we fought. We fought. We didn't give up. We could have folded. It was one point in time. <clears throat> where we were down in the in the second half and we really could have folded, but we came together. Uh, our captains brought us to, brought us in and we fought and got it up. So I'm proud of that for sure. Uh, Fargo's, they came out. All right, uh, they came out hitting a bunch of threes, and mm -hmm. then especially later in the game, you were able to switch on to some smaller guys on mm -hmm. the perimeter, mm -hmm. take away those looks. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what do you think you're gonna bring to this team in terms of like? Yeah, I think um, for us, you know, that's something that I think like if you're able to switch one through five, it just makes you that much more versatile, you know. Um, obviously, with, you know, depending on the game plan, you know, some games we're going to switch, you know, some games we're in a different coverage. Um, but our, you know, personnel is so versatile to where we can, you know, do a lot of different things. Um, we can switch, you know, if we need to. We can hedge, we can ice, we can do a lot of different things. So I think, you know, you know, credit to the coaching staff, to who they recruited. You know, we have a ton of guys that um, are super capable of doing whatever the coaching staff, you know, requires us to do. All right, Dawes, Jalen, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.